Hello friends, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying vapor pressure and air conditioning. In the last video, I have explained about the vapor absorption system. And I have explained some points of vapor absorption system. Now in this video, we will see the coefficient of performance of simple vapor absorption system. Let's start the video. The process was happening like that. The represent was taking heat from the surrounding in evaporator. After that, in absorber, the ammonia which was the represent was absorbed by the water. In absorber, some amount of heat was reacting to the surrounding. This is true. After that, the mixture of water and ammonia, that is liquid in liquid form, was pumped and it was sent to the generator. In generator, amount of heat QG was given to the system. After that, in condenser, heat was rejecting from the vapor of ammonia. This is QG. All the processes I have explained, and all these are the what these are the parameters like work input R E Q C Q A Q B. I have already explained. Now let's see how to calculate the coefficient of performance of simple vapor absorption system. You know what is COP? COP is the ratio of R E refrigeration effect. Divided by work input. Here you have to remember that work input is a work is a energy. Work is a energy. So if I say COP is a R divided by energy input. Why I have written energy input, not work input? Because in this pump work is also an input. QG is also an input to the system. So we will write here by RE divided by QG plus WP. Friends, WP pump work is very, very small. WP is very, very small. So negative. So WP shall be negated if I write here that R divided by QG. This is equation number one. Now from the first law of thermodynamics, from the first law of thermodynamics, that is energy conservation law. Energy going into the system is equal to energy out going out of the system. Going in to the system and going out to the system. Energy input is equal to energy output. Let's see. From the first law of thermodynamics, from the first law of thermodynamics, from the first law of thermodynamics, what I how I can write WP is neglected now. This is the QG input and RE input. RE plus QG is equal to what are the energy output? QA and QC. QA plus QC. This is equation number two. Now, from the second law of thermodynamics, from the second law of thermodynamics, from the second law of thermodynamics,
you know that total entropy change of a universe is possible. Any process of a universe is possible if total entropy change for universe is greater than or equal to zero. You know the error of this equation. In thermodynamics, you have seen and you have studied this equation. Now, universe has two parts system and surrounding. So, I can write change in entropy for system plus change in entropy for surrounding. That should be equal to zero. Now, you have also seen that. In this system, this is a cyclic process. This is a cyclic process. If I say the system which is going in this system, the process which is going through this system, all the processes are cyclic process. All the systems are all the systems are going in a cyclic process. So the change in entropy for the system is zero. So I can write change in entropy for surrounding is greater than or equal to zero. Now you know very well if I say this is equation number three. Now you know the Clausius equation. Clausius equation you have studied in thermodynamics. What Clausius equation says that if I have written here dQ is equal to dS, dQ by t, dS, dS is greater than or equal to zero. That means I I will put the value of change in system for surrounding. This is surrounding. This is surrounding. This is surrounding. So I use the Clausius equation for complete surrounding of the system. Out of the system, from the system, this is the system and this is surrounding. So I will use the process equation here. That means dQ by t. If I write here, for the surrounding, you have to write heat is going out from the system. So if I write this is Re divided by T naught, this is minus. But well, it is going out from this in generator, it is also going out. So I can write minus QG divided by T naught. Now QA and QC are going, are going to the surrounding. These are the input to the surrounding. So these are plus QA upon that T naught. Sorry, this is Tg. This is Tg. And this is Tr. Tr, Tg, T naught plus. And Qc is also adding to the surrounding divided by T naught. And this is equal to 0. Greater than and equal to 0. From the process equation, I can write here from Clausius equation. Now, I can write minus Re divided by Tr minus Qg divided by Tg plus I can write this T0 divided by Q, Qa plus Qc divided by T naught because this is called same. Now from the equation number 2, from the equation number 2, QA plus QC was equal to RA plus QG. So I will write here from equation number 2, number 2, minus RE divided by TR minus QG divided by TG plus if I write here RE 
प्लस क्यू जी डिवाइडेड बाई टी नॉट नाउ यू सी है आर ई बाई टी आर और आर बाई टी नॉट एंड क्यू जी बाई टी जी एंड क्यू जी बाई टी नॉट आई कैन राइट एयर आर ई बाई टी आर माइनस क्यू जी बाई टी जी प्लस आर ई डिवाइडेड बाई टी नॉट प्लस क्यू जी डिवाइडेड बाई टी नॉट What I will do? I the R I R I take and Q G Q G I take. So if I take R I here common, if I take R I common, then it will be one upon my T naught minus. This will be one upon my T R. Okay. Now for Q G minus, if I take minus Q G common, then this will be one upon my T G, and this will be minus one upon my T R. Now we will take which term is this side, right side. Which term we have to take? We have to think this thing. Because C O P is, you know very well, C O P is R E divided by Q G. So this term we have to take. If you are taking this term to right side, then this will be. If this term is going to right side, then this will become R E divided by Q G. R E divided by Q G. If I go there. Then this will be greater than or equal to zero, which is not desirable. Which is not desirable because the efficiency of this system is depending upon the temperature limit only. So this should be less than and greater than this. Something here. Okay. So we will do like this. So. Only this term I this this term I take to be right side. See here. Q G minus Q G into one upon my T G minus one upon my T naught greater than that, and this is minus R E. Into one upon my T naught minus one upon my T R. If I multiply this Q G one upon my one upon my T naught minus one upon my T G and multiply this minus one upon my T R minus one upon my T naught. So Q G into T G minus T naught divided by T naught into T G. Then that is equal to R E T naught minus T R divided by T R into T naught. So I can cancel T naught. Now T G minus T naught divided by T G. And this term will be here. T R divided by T naught minus T R, and this will go down. R E divided by T G. This is the C O. This is my C O. Okay. Then what is the maximum C O P? Maximum C O P I will write here. Maximum COP TG minus T naught divided by TG into TR divided by T naught minus TR. 
will be equal to COD maximum. Otherwise, it should be less than this one. This is the maximum COP. Now, I, I think you got the idea. If I take this term to the right side, this term to the right side, then equation will be reversed and this will become like this. This sign will come here. Like this. So, in this case, this term will be maximum from this, which is not desirable. Because the coefficient of performance of this system is depending upon temperature limits only, like in Carnot refrigeration and Carnot heat pump, the coefficient of performance of the Carnot heat pump and Carnot refrigerator is maximum if it is working between the temperature limits. In the same way, this is the desirable, not this one. That's why I have taken this term to the right side. So this is the coefficient of performance for vapor absorption refrigeration system. So friends, in this video we have seen the coefficient of performance for simple vapor absorption system. In the next video we will see the practical simple vapor absorption system. Why we are using practical? Because there are some some uh, some water which was coming from the generator, the water is going to the evaporator, but practically what happens, the water and ammonia from the generator goes to condenser. Complete water is not going to the evaporator. That practical vapor absorption system we will see in the next video. And thanks for watching, Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.